Good morning, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad with your word for the day. And we're continuing our march towards Easter, our journey of looking at uh, the cross and the resurrection. And today I want to talk with you about one of the characters of Easter that, um, well, he's tragic. Okay. Uh, and we're talking about Judas Iscariot, the betrayer. Now, Judas was one of the 12. Uh, he was one of the Jesus' 12 disciples. He followed Jesus for three years. He, he listened to him teach. He was there for the miracles. He saw it all. But uh, toward the end of Jesus' ministry, he betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. He sold out his friend, his master, his Lord, uh, for some money. And of course, Judas uh, led the soldiers to where Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane. He betrayed him with a kiss. The soldiers seized Jesus and then began the trial and the crucifixion uh, of Jesus. So, uh, so Ju Judas is a tragic, terrible figure. In fact, Jesus even said it's better if he had never been born. But, um, but of course, Judas is a key player in this uh, whole crucifixion, resurrection story of Jesus. And so I want us just to learn from Judas a little bit. Uh, now, we don't know why Judas betrayed Jesus. Uh, you know, was he just evil? Uh, was he trying to start a rebellion, uh, you know, by thinking, hey, if the soldiers grab Jesus, Jesus will use his power and he'll fight back and bring in the kingdom. Maybe he just got disillusioned hanging out with Jesus and realizing that Jesus wasn't going to start a rebellion. So he thought he'd cash in on his knowledge. We, we don't really know the whys that are wrapped up in the story of Judas. It probably isn't as simple as we think. But what we do know is that after Judas saw that Ju Jesus was going to be crucified, he was remorseful. Okay, He demonstrated sorrow over his decision, and he went back and he returned the money, really threw it in, at the, the Pharisees or the Sadducees that he had sold Jesus to. And, uh, and, and then he went and he killed himself. He committed suicide. He was so sorry for what he had done, felt so bad about it, that he ended up killing himself. Uh, now, there's kind of two thoughts I want to share with you about Judas that relate to you and I. The first one is, uh, it's really easy to judge Judas, but the reality is that we all betray Jesus in little ways and in big ways. Uh, it may not be as intentional or as dramatic as what Judas did, but uh, there's all, always times in all of our lives that we choose deliberately to turn our backs on Jesus and choose evil rather than good. And, and the great thing is there's always grace for us because if we confess our sins, God is faithful and righteous and will forgive us our sins and purify us of all unrighteousness. So if you're in that place where you've betrayed Jesus and you feel guilty about it, know that his grace abounds to you because all of us have betrayed Jesus. Uh, now, the second part is, is something that I've thought about a lot uh, through the years as I've worked with people, and that is this. Judas gave up on redemption. Judas went and killed himself. He killed himself between the crucifixion and the resurrection because he wasn't expecting the resurrection. He gave up too soon. Now, suicide's always a tragedy because that's people giving up on God's power to redeem, and, and that grieves the heart of God. But uh, there's other ways that we give up on God's redemption. You see, the Apostle Paul tells us that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love him, to those who are called according to his purpose. If you've experienced a life-changing relationship with Jesus, God can always redeem your life. No matter how broken, no matter how desperate, no matter how much you have betrayed him, he will redeem your life if you don't give up. If you don't give up hope, if you don't give up the journey, if you don't give up following, if you don't quit on God, he won't quit on you. He will redeem. And yet, time after time, I see people who give up and miss out on that chance of redemption. Think about it. Peter had, had denied knowing Jesus, and yet Jesus reinstated him and entrusted to him the leadership of the church. That's amazing. I, in my mind, I can't help but wonder, what if Judas had just hung on? What would that conversation with Jesus have been like? Uh, I believe it would have been one of redemption. So wherever you are in your journey, if you feel like you've betrayed and there's no hope for restoration, think again. The grace of God is enough for you. Uh, I mean, in one way, we're all like Judas in that uh, we've all betrayed Jesus. But in the other way, I hope you're not like him at all. 
I hope you're not giving up on God's power to redeem your life because he can redeem anyone. I hope that encourages you and I hope you have a great day. God bless Calvary.